Thanks for coming. Today we will be presenting my short market paper. It's called Policy Switches in Emerging Economies. And let me start by showing you some data in order to motivate, uh, to motivate my questions. In this picture, we have data for Mexico for the period 1980-2009. We have the blue line, which is the log difference of nominal exchange rate. We have the red line, which is the log difference of consumer price index. And I would like you to take two things out of this picture. The first one are the green vertical lines. These lines denote the implementation of stabilization programs in Mexico. The first line is at 1982 and denotes the program for immediate economic organization and it's implemented after the debt crisis. The second stabilization program is implemented in 1988 and it's the program for economic solidarity and it's implemented after a long period of, macroeconomic, uh, of, macro, of large macroeconomic volatility. Finally, we have a, a third stabilization program implemented in 1995, which is the post-tequila stabilization program implemented after the tequila crisis in, at the end of 1994. The second thing I would like you to take out of this picture is that the behavior of the macroeconomic series, in particular, consumer, the, in, in particular inflation and depreciation rate, seems to change depending on the subsample we focus. For example, during the period 1980 to 1990, this series seems to, seems to have a larger volatility and seems to have also larger levels than for the rest of the sample. Actually, after 1998, we see that the volatility of this series goes down, also the levels, uh, for most of the period except the period around the, the tequila crisis in 1984. So this is a picture uh, for Mexico, but we can find similar, similar experiences for another for other um, emerging economies, for example, Argentina, Brazil, or Ecuador. There are um, two questions that are motivated by this picture. The first one is that we might observe um, several policy changes in these economies. And the second one is that these policy changes might have some effects in the behavior of macroeconomic data. So these are actually the questions I would like to answer in this paper. First, if there were policy changes in Mexico during these last 30 years, and second, how do these changes affect macroeconomic data? Finally, I would like to answer the question about uh, what happened with uh, private sector beliefs about those policy changes.